coming for Apex? Hmm? Are you coming for Apex? Yeah, I'm coming. But I really want to win this one because the winner uh, gets a free flight and free hotel. Here? I think you go win. I mean, Hack is the only one that can give you problems. Hack is the only one that can give you problems. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. He is, he's another Connecticut player, actually. Ooh, um, rough, rough life. The intangibles are things that you can't really fully explain and they're just so intricate and happening so fast that you can't say, well, in this position, you need to be here. It's like, well, no, if you've conditioned him to react to this kind of position this way, then you need to be here. We are getting into game one of winner semis here. And if you're in this spot, you're already winning before the exchange even begins. It's like that whole, the end of the Star Wars movies, the bad ones. Obi-Wan is on, like, on, the, uh, on the hill. God, what a stupid scene. But he says, uh, the fight's over, I already won. I have the high ground. And then Darth Vader, or Anakin, just still jumps forward and then he gets his like legs sliced off. It's like that in Melee. You're in a position and that neutral game situation is already over. If they attempt to do anything, it's over. The best they could do is reposition, and that's the neutral game. The actual neutral game is what keeps this game never ending. Aspects of it just defy like logic. Like you've got to have this next level in the zone thought process to play it well. Armada will recognize he's at a disadvantage and you recognize you're at an advantage. Instead of challenging that, he shifts around and repositions. And then you have to do the same. Until one of you commits in that good or bad spot. And then that's how the game breaks from the neutral game and then goes into the punish game. And that's where Armada's amazing. <laughs> 